Okay guys, what we will do to, what we will make today is a watermelon guacamole. So uh, what you need, just uh, avocados, onion, lemon, um, tomatoes and cilantro and salt. So uh, here, if we, we will be four, so we will use four avocados. Uh, sometimes you can find like uh, more avocados in the market. It could be like smaller than this or bigger than this, but like this is a, good, a normal size so we are four people and we are making uh we are we will um we are having six avocados today so you can start with the avocado or you can start with the onions it doesn't matter so today i will start with the onion you can use the white onion but my favorite is um the purple onion So some people use half of the onion because they don't like much, but how about you guys? Do you love onion? Okay, so we will use the entire onion. Okay, so you will put it in small pieces. So as I say, you can finish or you can just use half. Okay, so when you are done with this, you can put it in a container. Put it on, and then um, you can do the same thing with the tomatoes. Okay, so when you are done with the tomatoes, we will put it in the container and then um, the next, the third step is preparing, sorry this is not part of the <laughs> okay so what we will do here to have like a nice guacamole as you can see that the cilantro this is not good anymore so we'll take it out okay so some people complain about, ah, oh, my guacamole is not good, but because of, they are not taking the time to choose the best <coughs> part of the cilantro. So here you must select not the little one, but also not the, I call this like the oldest, so you <coughs> should use the, like the, the best part of the cilantro. Okay, so. We can save this for another guacamole tomorrow. <laughs> okay, we will do the same thing. So, so if you have a machine to cut this, that's fine, but in Guatemala we just do it by hand like this. Okay, so some people like it to make it it's little, little, small pieces, but this is a normal way to cut the cilantro. When you are done with the third step, you will add it. <coughs> the other thing that here we don't use knife. I mean, it's normal just to open like this. And then go to the seeds, and then we don't use this part, we just use the middle of the avocado. So, when you said this part, you meant the top right <coughs> under yes. the stem? Yes. What is the type of avocado? That oh, you have it's uh, from Chichi. I mean, the, we call the criollo. Okay. Because the has is... Um, it's more pear-shaped. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. So it's from Chichi Castellano. It's a local avocado. This one is not good. How can you tell it isn't good? 
Uh, the, the color. Oh. Yes. Uh -huh. It's mm -hmm. brown. So it's over time. Can you see the difference? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the fourth one, ingredients. So we can do this with um, a spoon. Some people add um, pepper with this one. Okay, so when you make the, um, the guacamole, so you shouldn't have those pieces like pieces like this. No, you have to smash it a little bit more. So you can do it in this way, or you just do this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so sorry, I'm hungry. <laughs> so we use the just I don't know some people you know how to just um, people use the spoon to add the salt like this. But what I do is just like this, just a little before I will <coughs> mix it again. So I will put the lemon or lime. Do you like the lime or not? So we will use just one. Sounds good? Mm-hmm. Who so. <coughs> wants to try first? Me. Okay. You can try. More salt, or that's okay? No, I think it's perfect. Okay, so. And then, uh, if some, if there's leftovers, um, how long is it safe to store in the refrigerator? Okay, so if we want to keep some leftovers, what we do here in Guatemala is to put, I don't know what you can see, on the middle. It's not a secret, it's, I don't know how I can explain, but if you put seed in the middle, so your guacamole doesn't get the brown color, so it takes, it ah. stays green. Mm -hmm. But like in this amount of guacamole, you have to add at least two or three of the seeds of the guacamole. Okay, mm -hmm. there probably won't be any left over today, but... Okay guys, this is the way how we make the guacamole here. You can add more uh, ingredients if you want, but this is the basic and uh, like, yeah, the basic form to make the guacamole here. So. As I say, you can have it with chips, with tortillas, or with bread. So, we will, um, my guests will tell you later if I made a good guacamole or not. <laughs> Thank you for watching the video.